All praises to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Makar Kadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, and Shalom to the elect to the nation of Israel. I was just watching this video, and all the things that the women in this video were saying, man, made me realize that women really think that they're going to be able to blame men in order to get into the kingdom of heaven. Right, they think they're going to be able to throw men under the bus and somehow end up sailing off into the sunset and winning in life, right? And, get, and getting into the kingdom by throwing us under the bus, man. And if you really pay attention to what's happening within our nation in the first place anyway, a lot of Israelite women have tried to blame the Israelite man for the whole reason why our nationality is dysfunctional, right? And why our nation is dysfunctional, right? When... It's the women that raise most of the people that grow up to adult age in our society, in our nation. So how can the men be to blame when the men didn't even raise their children? How can how can they say that, man? How can how can they say that out of their mouth? You women are not going to be able to blame men in order to get yourself into the kingdom of heaven because something's coming that everyone's going to have to stand on their own in regards to this thing. Right, I'm gonna read. I'm gonna read the prophecy right now. Right, Revelation chapter thirteen and verse sixteen. And he calls of all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a karagma in their right hand or in their foreheads. But when that day comes, when that MOTB gets made mandatory, none of you women are gonna be able to blame men. Right, no, no woman's gonna be able to blame men as to why this is happening. She ain't gonna be able to blame the Israelite man. And say, oh, it's the Israelite man's fault that this is happening. If he would have been more masculine and he would have been around, then we wouldn't be getting put in these guillot. You ain't going to say none of that. Because the Israelite men, more so than the Israelite women, are going to be the ones not taking it, man. Most of you Israelite women are going to take it. That's my own personal belief anyway. I think that most of you Israelite women are going to take that karagma, man. I think you're going to take it. In either hand. Because as far as I can see. The majority of you don't have no integrity. The majority of you don't have that necessary trait within you man. So majority of you are going to take that. Right. You're going to take the karagma. That's just my own personal belief man. Revelation chapter 13 and verse 16. Again in the cause of all. Both small and great. So that's the women that. Oh, got these so called good jobs. And the women that don't have a so-called good job. And the men as well. Let me be fair. The men are gonna the men are gonna be in this situation too. Right? The men that have a good job and the men that don't have a good job. Both categories, all categories of men are gonna be placed in this scenario, man. All all categories of men are gonna be placed in the scenario where if they don't take this, their life's on the line. And what are they gonna have that they have to stand on? To make them not want to take it. Because even a man ain't going to be able to say. Oh you know what the Israelite woman is trash. That's why I'm taking it. No. You took, you're taking it because you're weak. You're taking it. Because you're not of the elect. Right. Anyone that takes that ain't going to be able to blame nobody else. As to why they took it man. You ain't going to be able to say. Oh the reason why I'm taking it is because of this. The reason why I'm taking it is because of that. Because you've some some point in time in your life. You've heard from a prophet that the Lord sent to not take it. And you chose to think, nah, they don't know what they're talking about. I'm taking it. So when you do that, you're going to get the judgment that's that's been prescribed for taking it, man. Verse 17. And that no man might buy or sell save he that had the karagma or the name of the beast or the number of his name. So you like buying and selling, right? Oh, you like buying and selling. You like being in the mix of things, do you? You really just had to get them groceries, did you? Right? You couldn't stand on faith and be like, well, the Lord will provide me something to eat. Well, because you couldn't do that, right? Because you couldn't do that, you're going to get judged, man. That's what it's going to be. That's what's coming, man. Because you couldn't stand on faith for the Lord, you're going to get judged. And none of you, I'm, I'm going to go back to it again. None of you women are going to be able to blame no man as to why you took the karagma. You ain't going to say, oh, my husband wasn't able to provide food. He's supposed to be a man. That's why I had, I had no choice but to take the karagma 
how are my kids going to eat? Because food exists right now. Food's always existed. Food exists independent of anything that men make on the earth and try and force people into taking. And if you didn't believe in the Lord, well, you're going to have to stand on what you did then, man, in that time. You ain't going to be able to blame nobody else. You ain't going to be able to blame no one else, man. You ain't going to be able to say men are dogs, men are liars, men commit adultery and all. You ain't going to be able to say none of that, man. You ain't going to be able to say, oh, the men should have had their own farms anyway. So that's why we took it. We should have really had it. You ain't going to be able to say none of that. And this is the judgment that's coming for all you people that take it, man. Revelation chapter 14 and verse 9. And the third angel followed him, saying with a loud voice, if any man, and that includes women too, if any man worship the beast and his image and receive his karama in his forehead or in his hand, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of Yahweh, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation, and he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. You, you ain't going to get away with trying to blame nobody else for the reason why you took it, man. Right? That's what Eve did. Right? And Eve still died despite doing that. Right, Eve tried to throw Adam under the bus. Uh, I mean, tried to say, oh, I blame Satan and all that, and try and lie. Like, she never wanted to try and become a god. Like, she wasn't trying to become independent even of Adam herself. Right? Like, she wasn't trying, like, she didn't get a lust for wanting to have all this knowledge and become a god. Right? She, but she, she, tried to, she tried to make her like she just didn't hear what she could get and wasn't lusting after that. Zechariah chapter 4, all, let me say this man, all you women that have been believing what the serpents told you, you've helped them make the society that you're living in right now, you've been a very big part of this society being as wicked as it is, you've helped them be able to destroy the world and destroy all the defences that's necessary to even make it be a society that they can, that they can make the corrupt man, but guess what, you're going to be faced with a scenario where whether you, whether, whether, you decide to take that or not. And if you take it, this is what's coming for you, man. And that goes for the men too. If a man takes it, they're going to get it too. No one's going to be able to blame no one else, man. Because ultimately, it's all happening because every single Israelite sinned against Yahweh. And therefore, we got cursed, man, because we sinned against Yahweh. Zechariah chapter 14 and verse 12. And this shall be the plague with Yahweh will smite all the people that fought against Jerusalem. Their flesh shall consume away while they stand upon their feet. And their eyes shall consume away in their holes. So all you men that think, oh, I got some nice eyes and some nice eyelashes and all that. Or oh, I got some nice skin and all that. Mate, that's going to get melted off your body. If you take this karagma that's coming to persuade the whole earth and make them bow down to the people that are ruling this wicked society that we live in right now, your eyes are going to get melted out of your holes, man. And your skin's going to get melted away while you stand up on your feet. Don't believe me? I'm reading it right now and I'm going to start again. And this shall be the plague where Yahweh will smite all the people, all the people that have fought against Jerusalem. Their flesh shall consume away while they stand upon their feet and their eyes shall consume away in their holes and their tongue shall consume away in their mouth. So there ain't going to be no more running their mouths when your tongue's melted away. There ain't going to be no more of that, man. Ain't gonna be no more of that. And I think I'll end the lesson there, man. You women ain't gonna be able to blame men. Men ain't gonna be able to blame women. No one's gonna be able to blame nobody else for why they take the karogma, man. That's not gonna be available to do. You, if you take the karogma, it's ultimately gonna be because you were not of the elect. All praises to Yahweh by Sham Yahweh Shai, by Sham Dash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone and Shalom to the elect to the nation of Israel. Shalom.